Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Cool Chords. Today I'd like to talk about the hexatonic scale and that is two triads layered on top of each other for each chord. Now what I thought I'd, I'd do today is go over each chord of satellite, John Coltrane's satellite, and how you can apply these this triadic material to whether you've got major sevenths or minor sevenths or dominants or sharp elevens and things like that. So we're going to have a look at that. So our first chord is the G7. And we make it a major seven. So this is the first triad, obviously. And then for major sevens, I like when I can put a sharp 11 as well. So I'm going to go major seven back, sharp 11, nine. So over the major seven, you get this. That sort of thing. Or over major sevens, you can actually, it just becomes the major scale though, but you can do just, yeah, the G major scale, but you can try it. But I think what's cooler is you just keep to the same two triads. So in this case, maybe we either go the, the G major and the F sharp minor, in which case, we always like to come back down from the seventh. This pattern, this, in this fashion. Or we can get rid of that sharp 11 and just do a uh, A minor as the second triad. Gives it a nice kind of, it's a clearer um, major diatonic sound. But we don't get this uh, major sound. That's the G. Let's go uh, B flat seven. You guessed it, our first triad is B flat. When we go seventh down, for the seventh chords today, we can either go the mixolydian. So that's A flat major, so. and A flat major. There is another thing I want to touch on as well, which is coming back augmented. So it gets this sharp 11 and nine from the seventh. So we get this sound. So we can do both uh, for each seventh chord. We do both the mixolydian chord, which is essentially the seventh flat seven major, and the major tonic, and then flat seven major. Okay, we get to E flat major seven. So we can either do sharp 11 which is essentially a D minor or our two chord minor which creates more of a diatonic sound which is E flat major and F minor together But try to stick to two triads, just for the exercise. Only two triads uh, per chord, not three, and it gets too maybe too complicated. F sharp seven. We go our augmented option. F sharp. That's our flat seven. Come back augmented. flat 
7 major, E major in this case. B major, let's just do the 2 this time. 2 minor. D7, let's do the augmented. What would be the flat 7 major for the D7? It would be C major. And what are we going to do? We're going to do the, the augmented. Okay, our first minor 7 chord, G minor 7. This is generally best if you do the flat 7 major. In this case, F major. And then C7 sus4, so we go our flat 7 major again. B flat major. Okay, uh, F major seven we haven't done. Let's do our let's do our sharp eleven E minor chord. A flat seven. Let's do augmented. What would our flat seven major be? That would be the F sharp major or the G flat major. Uh, now D flat seven, let's use the augmented. flat 7 major. E7, you guessed it. A major 7, let's do our sharp 11. with the augmented. F minor, let's use our flat seven major for this. It's F minor and E flat major. B flat we've already done. And then we get to chords that we've already done, E flat major, A minus 7 we haven't done, we'll do use a G major, flat 7 major, and A minor. G minor C minor We'll use our B flat Major It's 
So in case you're wondering what we're doing, we're always over every chord choosing two triads to play over every chord to uh, create a different sound than our scales. To create a, let's say a chordal um, hexatonic scale, which is a six note scale. That's the scale of the C minor and the B flat together. Whenever you get a C minor, you can play this. It's different to our pentatonic, minor pentatonic. As, as in we, we can play extra note, just one extra note. In this case, the ninth. In a chordal fashion, quite often played by saxophones. In a chordal fashion, G major we've played, F, F minor we've played, we've played all these chords, have we played all these chords? Okay, let's let's go through it. Let's go through it. Let's see, let's see how it sounds. Seven over D, the last eight bars of satellite. This sounds really nice if you do this over a pedal point that's not really part of the uh, harmony of the chord. Especially if you go to the next one, which is E minor, coming uh, into D major, E minor, D major. major 7, what do we play for that? We play our D minor, then major 7. We can play our C sharp minor. Over our, so we get our 9, our sharp 11, or flat 5 in this case is minor. And our, yeah, major 7. Sus is cool too, but we'll, we'll just play this major, uh, minor triad. So it sounds like this if you go uh, into succession, if you go into the chords. Seven sharp nine flat nine. So I like to actually play the D ma uh, the D major D seven and coming back coming back. I like to play the tritone major, which is A flat in this case. So so for a sharp nine flat nine. That's our, oh, so we don't get our we don't get our sharp nine in this, unfortunately. So how can we actually do that? Okay, why don't we do that? We play F minor and D major. Yeah, that's a better sound. That's the sound we want. By thinking 
quarterly, triadically, over a single chord, it helps to shape our hands like what maybe a saxophone player would play uh, in thirds. Um, I mean, triadically and not necessarily as a piano player plays a lot more um, chromatically. So I hope that's helped um, think about, firstly, satellite, but also thinking about chords, how to play over chords by adding another triad. So, so thanks for watching Cool Chords and happy practicing. Bye.